गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स शुभम रेड्डि भाग्यश्री सपना एंड भूमिका सारा गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग okay so dear students today we are going to start a new lesson that is called in the kingdom of fools right okay so dear students today we are going to start a new lesson that is called in the kingdom of fools right okay so dear students today we are going to start a new lesson that is called in the kingdom of fools right okay so dear students today we are going to start a new lesson that is called in the kingdom of fools right okay so dear students today we are going to start a new lesson that is called in the kingdom of fools right okay so dear students today we are going to start a new lesson that is called in the kingdom of fools right okay so dear students today we are going to start a new lesson that is called in the kingdom of fools right okay so dear students Uh, is okay one fifty. Okay, so dear students, let me begin the new lesson called in the kingdom of fools. Okay, so it is believed that fools are so dangerous that only very wise people can manage them. Who are the fools in this story? What happens to them? Okay, so fools you must must be knowing who are called fools. Okay, so. In this story also there are two fools. Okay, so or in this story also there are couple of fools. So we shall discover who these fools are and what kind of foolish activity are they involved into uh, is something that we have to see to be able to uh, discover this uh, to be able to understand. Okay, this lesson. Okay, so dear students, let be, let's begin. In the kingdom of fools, both the king and the minister were idiots. Okay, in the kingdom of fools, what happened? Both the king and the ministers, both of them were idiots. They did not want to run things like other kings, so they decided. Why do you think are they called foolish? They are called foolish because of the reasons that are given here. Uh, see here. They decided. Number one, they decided to change night into day and day into night. They ordered that everyone should be awake at night till their fields and run their businesses only after dark, and go to bed as soon as the sun came up. Right. So that is completely opposite of what the uh, what the other world or what the world does. Right. It is. completely different things that the king and his ministers have decided to do first of all they decided to change night into day day into night how come what you are supposed to do at night is something that they will do at day and what we are supposed to do at day time um, is something that we are supposed we will do at night time okay so this is how they have changed the order they have changed the day into night night into day right so Anyone who disobeyed would be punished with death. So anyone who de disobeys this particular rule will be punished to death. Okay, the people did as they were told for fear of death. So the people of the kingdom had to do because they were asked to do that, and there was no democracy; it was only kingdom. So you need to listen to the instructions given by the king. Otherwise, you shall meet with. a severe punishment that is why uh, this particular uh, this particular uh, you know like foolish orders also had to be obeyed by the people the people did as they were told for fear of death the king and the minister were delighted at the success of their project the king and the minister were very much delighted very much happy because whatever the plan Uh, was executed by the people or the subjects of the state that is why they were feeling very very happy okay but actually um, you know it is a very foolish decision anyone who disobeyed would be punished with that the people did as they were told for fear okay now you see 
One day, a guru and his disciple arrived in the city. One day, what happened, dear students? A guru and one day, a guru and his disciple, uh, a guru and his disciple arrived in this city. It was a beautiful city. It was broad daylight, but there was no one about. There was no one away. Everything seems to be silent in the broad daylight. Why? Because in this kingdom, in this state, what happened? The new rule came into force that at daytime everybody will sleep and at night everyone will work. Everyone was asleep, not a mouse starting. Even the cattle had been taught to sleep by sleep by day. Okay, even the cattle was also sleeping at day. The two strangers were amazed by what they saw around them and wandered around town till evening when suddenly the whole town woke up and went about its nightly business. Okay, so the uh, king, uh, so the guru and his disciple started roaming here and there, here and there, there in the city and then evening came and when evening started, everyone opened their shop and everybody came out of their houses. The two men were hungry. Now that shops were open, they went to buy some groceries. To their astonishment, means to their surprise, they found that everything cost the same. What was the uh, you know astonishment about? What was the surprise about? Everything cost the same. There is a single doo-doo. Whether they bought a measure of rice or a bunch of bananas, it cost a doo-doo. Dudu is a uh, sort of a currency in that kingdom, okay, in that state. So, another very astonishing fact is that every commodity in that kingdom cost the people of that state only one dudu, right? Whatever you buy, uh, buy if you buy a measure of rice or you buy a bunch of bananas, okay, uh, it cost you the same one dudu only, okay. So that is also one of the very, very surprising and astonishing, uh, you know, facts or astonishing things, astonishing things to be seen in, uh, seen in this particular kingdom, uh, which is governed by a foolish king and his uh, minister, right? So uh, usually it doesn't happen. Different things have different price tags, right? All the things don't have the same price tags. But in that kingdom of fools, what happened? Apart from what we have already uh, seen. Another surprising thing is that everything, every commodity in this kingdom cost the same price, right? Uh, whether they bought a measure of rice or a bunch of bananas, it cost a doo-doo. The guru and his disciple were delighted. They had never heard of anything like this. They could buy all the food they wanted for a rupee. They could buy all the food they wanted for a rupee. When they had cooked and eaten, the Guru realized that this was a kingdom of fools and it would not be a good idea for them to stay there, right? So, Guru says, this is no place for us, let's go. Okay, Guru said to his disciple that this is not an ideal place for us to live, so we need to take leave of this place. That is what he tells his disciple. But the disciple did not want to leave the place. Everything was cheap there. All he wanted was good, cheap food. So why did the disciple uh, refuse the instructions given by his guru? Because everything was cheap here. All he wanted was good. All he wanted was good, cheap food. That is, and everything is cheap here, want to do. That is why the disciple wanted to stay back uh, in the kingdom. Whereas Guru wanted to leave. The Guru said, they are all fools. This won't last very long. They, they are all full people. And this system of purchasing everything at one dudu will not last very long. Because when they will realize that it's a great loss for their state, again they will uh, change the law. Right? Uh, that is why you don't believe the system here. It will again change. You can't tell what they will do to you next. But the disciple would not listen to the Guru's wisdom. But the disciple did not listen to Guru's wisdom. He wanted to stay. The Guru finally gave up and said, Do you want, do what you want, I am going. Right? The Guru finally gave up and said, What did Guru say? Guru said, Do what you want, I am going. And on saying this, the Guru left the kingdom. The disciple stayed on 
ate his fill every day bananas and ghee and rice and wheat and grew fat like a street side sacred bull like a sacred uh, like a street side sacred bull the minister uh, sorry the disciple grew fat because every day he was eating banana ghee rice and wheat everything was very cheap there so he was eating with his heart's content he was eating to his satisfaction uh, therefore he grew as big as the street side sacred bull one bright day what happened dear students one bright day a thief broke into a rich merchant's house he had made a hole in the wall and sneaked in and as he was carrying out his to loot the wall of the old house collapsed on his head and killed him on the spot okay so what happened one day a thief broke into broke into means a thief entered the house of a rich merchant after he had he had made a hole in the wall and then uh, he entered through the hole of the wall and as he was carrying his loot loot means as he was carrying out whatever he could steal from the house the wall of the house collapsed and thus the thief died on the spot his brother ran to the king and complained that okay your highness when my brother was pursuing his ancient trade a wall fell on him and killed him this merchant is this merchant is to blame he should have built a good strong wall you must punish the wrong doer and compensate the family for this injustice okay so the king was very foolish in nature the king did not have any kind of wisdom in him therefore what he decided was something which was very very silly what did he decide let's find out what was his decision dear students let's find out okay so what was his decision you know what was the decision of the uh, king king said that okay so rich merchant uh, house a thief broke out and he had made a hole in the wall and with uh, through this hole the thief entered the house of the rich merchant and then as he was carrying out his loot the wall of the old house collapsed on his head and killed him on the spot now his brother ran to the king and complained your house pursuing his ancient trade a uh, thief's brother went and said a was wall fell on him and killed him this merchant is to blame then the king was very much foolish so he said merchant is to believe uh, blame because it was his house why did he make the world so fragile or so 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 weak he should have built he should have built uh, the he should have built a good strong wall you must punish the wrong doer and compensate the family okay compensate the family of the thief for this injustice the king said justice will be done don't worry and at once summon the owner of the house so who was the owner of the house it was the merchant who was who was summoned by the king okay when the merchant arrived the king questioned him what is your name such and such your highness were you at home when the dead man burgled your house yes my lord he broke in and the wall was weak it fell on him the accused pleased pleads guilty your wall killed this man's brother you have murdered a man we have to punish you then the merchant in his defense said lord i did not put up the wall it's really the fault of the man who built the wall he did not build it right you should punish him so he should not punish because it was not me who built the wall it was the mason who built the wall so he should be blamed then the king being foolish so he uh, agreed to that who is that my lord this wall was built in my father's time i know the man he is an old man now he lives nearby the king sent out messengers to bring in the bricklayer who had built the wall so 
the king sent the sent out messengers to bring the brick layer who was responsible for building the wall they brought him tied hand and foot okay that they brought the brick layer in front of the king you there did you build this man's wall in his father's time he was asking did you build did you build this man's wall in his father's time yes my lord i did brick layer admitted that he has made the wall what kind of a wall is this that you built it has fallen on a poor man and killed him you have murdered him we have to punish you by death the king said you have to be punished by the uh, you have to be punished so you shall get capital punishment that is you shall be ordered to die you shall be hanged before the king could order the execution execution means hanging order okay hanging before the king could order the execution um, the poor bricklayer pleaded the poor bricklayer started praying to the god uh, i mean uh, not god pray, praying to the uh, king foolish king please listen to me before you give your orders it's true i built this wall and it was no good but that was because my mind was not on it i remember very well a dancing girl who was going up and down that street all day with her anklets jingling and i couldn't keep my eyes or my mind on the wall i was building you must get that dancing girl i know where she lives my goodness see now the bricklayer is trying to pass his fault to somebody else here bricklayer said that there was a dancing girl who was dancing on the streets and with the sound of her anklets i got distracted i could not focus on the brick laying work okay while building the while making the wall uh, i was not able to focus properly so it is the dancing girl who distracted my attention so it was she who had to be held guilty of uh, uh, guilty not me okay then the king being foolish he immediately accepted the uh, instruction or sorry the request of the uh, bricklayer he said you are right the case depends we must look into it it is not easy to judge such complicated cases let's get that dancer where it, wherever she is the dancing girl now an old woman came trembling to the court did you walk up and down that street many years ago while this poor man was building a wall did you see him yes my lord i remember it very well so you did wake walk up and down with your ankle jingling you were young and you distracted him so he built a bad wall uh it has fallen on a poor burglar and killed him burglar means thief you have killed an innocent man you will have to be punished she thought for a minute and said my lord wait i know now why i was walking up and down that street i had given some gold to the goldsmith to make some jewelry for me he was a lazy scoundrel he made so many excuses and said he would give it now and he would give it and so on all day he made me walk up and down to his house a dozen times that was when this brack layer saw me it is not my fault my lord it is the damned goldsmith's fault now dear students you see it's very interesting uh, whoever is summoned before the king whoever is called before the king they are trying to pass the buck to somebody else means they are uh, trying to pass their fault to somebody else and the king being foolish is also uh, is also believing their words so that is where that is why the king is very innocent i mean uh, very foolish okay he is a foolish king why whoever is summoned in his court he is believing whatever they are saying okay it means that he doesn't have any mind of his own his mind is greatly influenced by uh, the other people right that is why he is a foolish king so the bricklayer passed the fault to the uh, dancing girl the dancing girl now again passed the fault to another person who is that person it is the uh, it is the uh, goldsmith to whom the buck has passed now okay so the goldsmith now who has been held responsible by the dancing girl so can you imagine the king doesn't have any intellect of his own he is greatly influenced by the by the uh, by the uh, decision of the 
a people of his kingdom right so he is greatly uh, greatly influenced by their decision okay so that is what is happening dear students that is what is happening he is a very foolish person he doesn't have his own intellect he doesn't have his own mind and whoever says something he believes in that now the dancing girl says that uh, you know there was a goldsmith i had given him some gold to make for me uh, some ornament and he was a lazy scoundrel he made so many excuses i had to come to him time and again to remind him of my gold on gold okay so it was he goldsmith was responsible because because he did not deliver the ornament to me in time therefore i had to come down to him time and again and uh, uh, it is not uh, and thus the my anklet made lot of sound so it is not me who can be held responsible it is the goldsmith who should be held responsible for uh, for uh, for 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 this particular incidents today okay not me that was when this uh, and that was when this brick layer layer saw me and that's how we got distracted uh, distracted so it's not my fault uh, it's the fault of the goldsmith poor thing she is absolutely right thought the king the king again changed his decision he said this girl is absolutely correct okay we have got the real culprit at last get the goldsmith wherever he is hiding at once the king's bailiffs searched for the goldsmith bailiffs means the people uh, who take the command of the king okay from one place to another okay the king's man who take the command of the king uh, from one place to another they are called bailiffs okay bailiffs so the king's bailiffs went from uh, place to place in order to find out that goldsmith okay um, when he heard the accusation against him he had his own story to tell so when the goldsmith got the accusation he uh, found heard the accusation against him he heard his own story to tell my lord he said i am a poor goldsmith it is to love gold goldsmith has come in the jitan uh, scandal means somebody who is very uh, wicked who is very kind of uh, scandal means what a person who is wicked who does all the mischief and who does not do anything good for the society he is called a, a scandal okay okay you see now let's see how the goldsmith uh defends himself okay let's find out how the goldsmith uh, eventually uh, dip, uh, you know uh, defends himself goldsmith says my lord he said i am a poor goldsmith it is true i made this dancer come many times to my door i gave her excuses because i could not finish making her jewelry before i finish uh, finish the rich merchants orders they had a wedding coming and they would not wait you know how impatient rich men are so jewel uh, goldsmith is giving of uh, giving uh, passing the buck or passing the i mean uh, passing the fault to somebody else here who is that rich merchant okay see the goldsmith is now passing the uh, fault to rich merchant you know how impatient rich men are so goldsmith uh, goldsmith is saying that you know it is because of the rich merchant uh, i had to delay the order of the dancing girl because rich merchant uh, was expecting a marriage ceremony in his house and uh, he had he was pressurizing me to to deliver his jewelry uh, before that dancing girl jewelry so that is how i got delayed and could not deliver the uh, jewelry to the uh, dancing girl and that is why she had to come down to me time and again so it's not my fault it's not because of me that i got delayed it's because of the the because of the nagging presence of rich merchant in my house that was responsible for the delay in delivery of the jewelry of the uh, dancing girl so you know how impatient rich men are who is the who is this rich merchant who kept you from finishing this poor woman's jewelry made her walk up and down which distracted this bricklayer which made a mess of his wall which has now fallen on an innocent man and killed him can you name him the goldsmith named the merchant and she was none other than the original owner of the house so who was that merchant he was none other than the original owner of the house whose wall had fallen now justice had come full circle though thought the king back to the merchant when he was rudely summoned back to the court he arrived crying it wasn't me but my father who ordered the jewelry he is dead i am innocent 
okay it's 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 not me uh, who has ordered the you know uh, i mean jewelry to the goldsmith it was my father who ordered i am innocent my father is dead okay so this is where let us stop today dear students uh, we shall finish this story uh, tomorrow okay we shall finish it off tomorrow it's very interesting story and this is where again you will find that the uh, the fault has passed on to another person now okay the fault will pass on to another person now okay because the uh, merchant is has said he, it's not me my father who has ordered uh, the uh, jewelry okay i am innocent and my father is dead now so i should not be held responsible for my father's action so now the mm, the, the the king will consult with his minister and then he will come up with another decision and this is how the fault as you can see um, passes from one man to another and we, it is very interesting uh, for us to see uh, eventually who the guilt passes on to is something that we have to um, we have to observe we have to understand we have to find out so the 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 rest when we meet tomorrow again okay at the same time uh, bye for the moment and before you disperse, before you log out, please uh, give your presence, write P, just write P and then disperse, then log out from the channel, okay? So you please write down P, those of you who are listening to me all this time, and then you disperse quickly. Okay, that's it for the day, dear students, bye-bye, take care.